What's going on guys? SHOT Show 2023 here at the Holosun booth with Josh. Uh, you guys know that we were out at Industry Range Day shooting away on their stuff. Uh, however, we got a bunch of feedback, a bunch of requests for us to hop in over their booth and take a look at the other offerings. Um, Josh, I'm stoked on the lineup, man. Take it away, dude. Man, we have so much new stuff coming out this year, it's hard to keep track of everything, but we'll kind of break it down into sections for you guys. We'll start with the SCS series. Okay. So our solar charging site series, you guys know and love. You guys have seen them all over the place for the Glock, MOSs. Uh, now we have them for the Smith & Wesson uh, MP2s, the 2.0 series. Okay. We now have for the Walther PDP. Uh, we additionally have them for the VP9. So nice. each in case got those on the new combo guns they're doing. It looks great. I love how the uh, the Walther one turned out because it matches those slides. Yes. It. it looks like such a factory option. It's great. Uh, a lot of people have been requesting, hey man, we love the SCS, but we really want to do an enclosed window. Can you guys do something for that? A lot of the times the problem why you can't do this is how far forward the screws are. Okay. There's just not enough space to get a window in there. But thankfully, with the new SCS 320, we're now using a Delta Point Pro footprint for that. So not a problem to get enough space for the glass. So now we have an enclosed SCS uh, specifically for those DPP cuts. Question with that one. Yeah. So I'm a Staccato guy. Yeah. Staccato's Delta Point Pro footprint. I got a Staccato in the new product section right now with one sitting on top of it. It Delta. looks great. Awesome. So yeah, not a problem to feature that on there whatsoever. So uh, I think for us this year, you know, having more enclosed options, everybody loves it. I think the industry is yep. kind of shifting towards that. I so. run your EPS carries and your 519s. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, man. I know you guys both through their paces. So this one's going to be really cool for people. I think just more options. Everyone's got these SIGs these days. They're running some of the bigger guns. The Staccatos are coming out really soon. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a great one. But if you want something that's even a little more fun, the competition, obviously, you guys got a chance to shoot this at yes. range day. Humongous window. They won't say it. I will say it. It's the SRO killer. <laughs> Uh, the window is huge. It's yeah. huge. I mean, we spent a lot of time listening to feedback from competition shooters to try to incorporate more features than just, hey, we got a big window now. What do you guys think? And so with this one, we've done what's called our competition reticle system, or CRS for short. Uh, and the basics of it are you have a 2 MOA dot with an 8 MOA ring, a 20 MOA ring, and a 32 MOA ring. So for you guys who are in USPSA or any kind of those matches like that. Wait, you go have, back. How so you have? So you have a 2 MOA dot, uh -huh. an 8 MOA ring, okay. a 20 MOA ring, oh. and a 32 MOA ring. Okay. And you can do different variations of that, how you want to set it up. So if you have nice. a stage where they're still pop or super far, drop it into two. The next stage, everything's super close up, drop it in an eight or 20 MOA and just go through the stage as fast as you want. So we tried to take a lot of feedback from people and listen to what the competition shooters wanted gotcha. and just incorporate that into the new reticle system. So I think this one's going to be a big hit for this year. People have been asking for these for so long uh, and now we finally are delivering for everybody. So. It, I mean this in a very positive way. It literally looks like a beautiful old school television set <laughs> like that is under your Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. And these are going to be out in Q2, all these ones okay. on the table right here. Uh, so we really don't have too much longer to wait. You guys are playing with us this summer, and I, I'm What's really pricing looking like on the 507 competition? Yeah, so on the high end, we're looking about 399 so about 370 ish on the low end, depending upon what colors you want, red or green. Uh, and so, yeah, it's just going to be really cool. I'm excited. Are they ever going to do the solar fail safe in those? You know, we might. If we get enough requests for people gotcha. that are interested okay. in it, not a problem whatsoever. There's plenty of spaces you can see to put a huge panel on top. I think for this initial offering, we just kind of wanted to keep the price point a little bit lower so that everybody can get options out there with them. But yeah, if you guys want like maybe a titanium one, yeah. maybe some solar options, it's totally possible in the future. Cool. So moving uh, to uh, the rifle site side of things. Oh, the aim point killer now? <laughs> you, take the, uh, <laughs> you take the solar charging site technology, drop it into a mini reflex site, and this is basically our new SCRS, or solar charging rifle site. If you guys um, haven't seen the photos of this on the MP5, definitely go check oh, it out. Man, it, it looks, looks so, so sweet. Yeah, we have a huge booth graphic, and it just came out so great with this. I think this is going to be probably one of the go-to options for offsets, PC, PCs, uh, anything with limited rail space. And as you see it here is exactly how it's going to come configured. So you'll have this, uh, you know. Is that a 509 mounting option? Exactly. Okay. Yes, it is a 509 mount. So one thing that people are going to know is like, hey, Josh, you said it's a 509. It is a little bit shorter than a traditional 509 because this unit actually is smaller than a 509 footprint mm -hmm. wise, but it still fits on those mounts, no problem. So we're still working with some mount manufacturers to offer some oh, better options oh, on it. Like it fits the mounts? It fits the mounts, yes. Like staccato mount? So the, the difficulty with this is is this is not rated for pistol use. The windows oh, okay. and elevation gotcha. turrets on this one are more for rifle situations. Okay. There's a little bit of recoil going on with those pistols gotcha. that are reciprocating slide mass. We wouldn't recommend mounting this on a pistol. Got it. I know someone's going to do it. And uh, you yep, know, when you guys call me and show me the cool picture. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure I'll see it in a video soon with you running the heck out of it. But realistically, we, this isn't meant for pistols. We do want this as more of a rifle situation uh, for offsets, whatever I'm saying, you know, PCCs. But gotcha. Okay. 
Okay. It just takes that same solar charging technology, dumps it into this. We don't have to worry about the battery anymore. As long as the solar panel is getting light, they're going to have no problem keeping this thing topped off. So cool. And it comes in a 163 mount that's really lightweight. So I think it's just going to be a really cool option. Price points on these, we have a, a couple of different ranges. It's kind of like on the low end, I want to say like 250. On the high end, you're looking at like 370 ish, give or take. So nice. we're trying to offer as many different options as we can. And then obviously the uh, yeah, the steel dude. of the show for this year, I think everyone's really excited about Real these. Real quick, like, what are you guys going to be able to have next year? Like, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I've said this about our engineers. They are wizards, man. They come up with some of the most incredibly innovative stuff. You know, it's one of those things where if you like go, this was so out of left field that I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. you look at the 509 and you go, how can we do better? You look at you see the EPS and you're like, how are you going to improve upon that? Then you get the SCSs where they're pulling the whole battery system out of there. It's like, I don't know where they're going to go next, but man, when these show up and you're just having so much fun with them, it's so, yeah, it's incredible what we've been doing with the technology on these. Uh, and just to be clear, these are the DRSs, the digital rifle sites. You guys have probably been seeing these popping yep. up on all over the social medias. Uh, and the coolest thing about this is you basically take one of our AIMS units with a red dot. It works just like a traditional red dot. The glass is super clear. Okay. As soon as you click on the top sensor here, now we have a, a thermal image that's being overlaid on the sensor. Yes. And so you can use it with the window covers down and still have real time uh, with the red dot. And then if you want full contrast, you just lift the covers up. Now you're getting as much reflection back into you as you can. And you're going to have a much clearer image with these. And so, so Isaac Bakken and I always chat about digital night vision, digital thermal, yeah. and just how we've seen from our experience, the biggest struggle has been getting the lag time to catch up. Correct. And yeah. it's like, when I saw this, uh, I was with Lewis at uh, range day, mm -hmm. and I'm like, nobody ever thought, hey, why don't we just overlay it over what you can see through with your actual eye and glass, right now the delay's not an issue. And I'm like, God, it's always the simplest answer. It's one of those things where, you know, uh, we got a lot of questions during the show, of like, hey, why is it in the green color spectrum? And why isn't it like a white hot, black hot screen like I'm used to seeing? And the fact is, well, you're not looking at a screen. Like there isn't a screen that you're staring at that has a refresh rate mm -hmm. that's gonna hinder you when you go to do those panning kind of shots. With this, we're basically reflecting it back into your eye just like we would a red dot site. And so that coating needs to be green in order for your gotcha. eyes to pick okay. it up. And so when you close the door, you're getting maximum reflection back and that's when you really get those vibrant images for the thermal, right. like the white hot, black hot, the outline mode. I mean, there's so many things that are built, built into this. One thing that's really cool too is that you have two independent reticle systems. So there's a reticle that's built into the camera itself that you can zero independently of the uh, MRI reticle that's built into the bottom oh, of the wow. unit. Okay. So you could have, you know, 300 blackout guns, sure. different holes and zeros and stuff like that. On top of that, you've got, uh, it has the ability to take pictures and record video. We're working on kind of figuring out what size Damn. the SD card is going to end up being. Um, you know, I think one thing I do want to note for everybody is it's going to take us a little bit of time to get these to the market. Sure. We're showing everybody all the fun new toys, but at, realistically, we do have some more bells and whistles we want to tweak into okay. and get it ready. So you're probably looking at like a quarter four release this year. Maybe some fun Christmas presents under the tree, but we'll see how it goes gotcha. in terms of development okay. side of things. And, uh, just to be clear on the prices and the availability of these, we're going to have a couple of different versions. Um, right now, we have basically uh, a mid-range thermal, and there's an upgraded one that has a much bigger sensor. It's like 30% bigger and a little okay. more refresh rate when talking about that situation. Uh, in the mid-range, you're looking at around $1,600. On the high end, you're looking at around $2,300. And we also have our night vision ones that have a uh, IR illuminator built into the side awesome. of this. These are going to be about 1000 bucks. Hey, guys, those of you that are like, new to the night vision thermal, girl, like understand like uh, night vision or sorry thermal scopes that we're looking at like starting price is normally like sixty five hundred dollars yeah, so yeah, if you're hearing like twenty three hundred like whoa and you're taking a step back like for what this is doing and at the price point I'm honestly like very impressed and surprised it's at twenty three hundred on the high end I always think that was going to be the low end yeah I mean I think a lot of people are really surprised by the price on these and it's it's been a, a you know one of the things that all of a sudden we really love to do is you know give this technology that used to be really unattainable and out of reach for a lot of people and just try to make it a little more budget friendly and uh, I think you can see throughout our product offerings through the years people like try to achieve that. Oh, I'm going to say it right now. I, I bet you in the next five years where people are going to be running hollow sun dual night vision devices. I mean, hey, who knows what's in the works? I've <laughs> got, got a lot of fun projects I can't like, talk about right now. When the, if and when that comes, we'll cut back this video with Josh and be like, boom. <laughs> right there. I'll January 2023, we said it. Nor deny <laughs> any of these allegations. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of our, our Shot Show 2023 and a wrap up for you guys. And uh, I'm sure you're going to have tons of questions and stuff like that. So I'll try to give these guys as much information as they can to help answer those questions in the comments. And uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to getting these in people's hands. I can't wait to hear the feedback. Uh, everybody at the show has been loving them so much and having fun with them. So I can't wait to get uh, you know information back from the fans out there and the consumers and hear what they have to say. So, dude, just like you guys have seen all over social media, with everybody going in through and looking at the green screen. You can see it here too as well, um, dude. I'm stoked. Congrats on everything, man. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, yeah, we are definitely going to be playing with all of this stuff throughout the year. <laughs> we'll give you some TNE samples for awesome. sure, man. My so, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by.